catch this revelation, child of God, from Luke chapter 12. Luke 12. Get this now. Get this. Look at verse 5, verse 6, and verse 7 of Luke chapter 12. It says in verse 5, But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. It says, Fear him which after he hath killed hath power to cast into hell. Yeah, I say unto you, fear him. Now look at verse 6. Verse 6 says, Are not five sparrows sold for two farthings? And not one of them is forgotten before God. Verse 7, But even the very heirs of your head are numbered Fear not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Now, the Bible says one sparrow is sold for a quarter, um, sold for two fathoms, right? Um, five sparrows actually are sold for two fathoms. Five sparrows. Now, fathom is like a quarter of a dollar. All right, a quarter of a dollar. Five sparrows is worth, or they are worth half a dollar. Now, that must be very cheap. Are you getting this? Yet, God says, not one of these sparrows is forgotten before God. Now, he says, the cheapest, the, the things that are sold for the cheapest are not forgotten. Now, he says, how much more you as a child of God whose hairs are numbered. Are you getting this? If God cannot forget sparrows, oh, come on. Think about yourself. Alright? Think about how he thinks about you. So I want to encourage us today to understand that you are much, much valuable to God. If not, he wouldn't have sent his son Jesus to die for you. If not, you wouldn't have been able to tune into this broadcast. You are tuned in watching this because God has a word for you. God wants to remind you of his love for you. He wants to remind you of his grace at work uh, uh, upon your life. He wants to remind you of his mercies. He wants to remind you of so much things that he's got planned for you. Are you getting this? So encourage yourself in the Lord. Whatever the trials are, whatever the tribulations are, calm down and remember that you are loved by God. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So you are loved by him and you are valued by him. So now you ought to start carrying yourself in that way. Romans 12, the Bible says, do not be conformed, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Most times, things don't happen for us until we understand that they are possible by the renewing of our mind. Are you getting this? So if you want to feel valued by God, God does value you, but sometimes you might not feel it. But if you want to feel valued by God, if you want things around you to begin to, to represent this value, then you have to understand it. You have to think on this and it will become a reality in your life. Are you getting this? The Bible says whatever things are good, are pure, you know, think on these things. You have to think on the right things for the right things to manifest in your life. So hear the shout of God. You are loved by God. You are saved by grace. You are empowered to prosper. The blessing of the Lord is upon your life. And you are special. If you believe this, comment below and let me know what you think. Share this and bless somebody. This is Moses of the Prophet. This is your one minute clip extended.